In this video, I'm going to show you how to absolutely obliterate cover four palms over the top for a one play touchdown. Guys, match coverage, I think, is probably the best way to play defense, at least at this point in the season. And I'm super, super jacked up to share this video with you because we're going to show you how to absolutely bomb uh, the cover four palms. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. For the most part, this is actually going to do a pretty good job at dealing with pretty much any match coverage. Um, you're going to have a check down option as well if they're not in the cover four palms. Let's say, for example, they are in the cover six or the cover four quarters or one of the other uh, kind of meta defenses you're going to have answers you're going to have options against any coverage but the beauty of this is it's going to absolutely obliterate cover for palms now again if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button we're going to be showing you this uh this beater out of the trio y flex the trio y flex in my personal opinion is the best offense in the game i just released a full ebook on it yesterday and so far have had really good feedback so if you want to get the ebook all you have to do is join my patreon my patreon is just ten dollars a month and it gets you instant access to every ebook that i've released in man 22 and every ebook that i will release in the future while your subscription is active so far we have 13 uh ebooks out and guys i just have to tell you this one right here has been my best one yet it is by far uh i, I built this offense completely from scratch and I've just been working on it over the last month. And I just have to tell you, I feel bad. I feel so good in this offense. This is such a fun offense. I've taken down top players with this offense. And I really, really am having a lot of fun with it. So, uh, guys, if you want to get access to the offense, again, there is a link in the description below where you can join the Patreon for just $10 a month. And you can cancel that whenever you like. But while your subscription is active, you get access to everything. My Bunch ebook, my U-Trips ebook, my Trips Tight End ebook, my Trio Y Flex Guide, my Bunch Tight End Bombs Away ebook. Um, the beauty of this offense is it is absolutely lethal. It, it really is. And I'm really, really excited to share it with you. So today's video, we're talking about Slot Out. Slot Out is one of the most underrated plays in the game. And you're going to see how this absolutely kills and I mean, just crucifies cover four palms. Uh, so literally all you have to do, uh, this is my personal recommendation. I would go ahead and uh, drag the tight end, but you don't have to. Literally just motion this guy to the right. That's it. You can block him or you can put him on a route. And what you'll see is as soon as the ball is snapped, the match is going to dumb out. And as you see right here, Scotty Miller is going to bomb this for a one play score. The reason why this is so good is because of the out route that Godwin is on. That out route, whenever they're in palms, whenever you motion, it becomes a two by two check. Um, and you see here, I can block him. I don't even have to put him on a route. It doesn't matter. And as you can see, because it's changed it into a two by two check, the palms coverage will check into what's called trap or two read uh, coverage. What that essentially means is if number two, which now turns into Godwin, right? If he goes to the flat, then what they're going to do is they're going to do this little swap off right here. And you're going to have triangle that is just going to beat. I mean, he's going to beat this guy by a good 10 to 15 yards every single time. It's not going to matter. Okay. So uh, what I wanted to do is also show this against a couple of other popular match defenses. The first one of which is going to be the cover six. I think that the cover six is my personal opinion, the best match defense in the game. So I want to show you what it looks like against this. We're going to show you some other routes that you can do to make it a little bit more of a complete concept. But what you'll see is if they're in cover six, he's still going to get a step on him. I don't know what it is about this route, but whatever it is, he almost always will beat a, beat the coverage over the top. If you got a fast player right there, I put your fastest player in Mutt there, and you'll be surprised at how consistently he's going to get over the top. Um, if they were to run, for example, cover four quarters, essentially we're going to run this kind of like we would run flood. Uh, you'll see here again. Look at look at him get get the step. And he gets over the top. That time Dean got him. I don't know how he picked that off. I do have a, I did have a step on that. So not quite sure how he picked that off. Um, but another thing that you could do to kind of make this a more complete play, drag the tight end, put Mike Evans on a curl. And if you do that, then let's say, for example, you know, you guess wrong and it's not cover four quarters or whatever your curl uh flat on the backside is going to be a pretty safe concept uh that you can rely on the other thing that you're going to have that people that run match coverage don't like to deal with especially when it comes from a set like this is you've got this little tight end drag uh that you can hit 
So you see right there, a little tight end drag, and you could truck somebody or whatever. The other thing is, if they start to run a lot of match on you, uh, let's just say, for example, you know they're in quarters, you, you know it, right? Because uh, they're not going to be in palms. Then what you can do is you can either smart route that out route or turn it into a corner route. And what you'll see is you're going to have a really, really good position on this slot out play now. And if you look at this corner route, it's going to almost always get open to the sideline. And you can easily throw that against match. You can also throw that out route. Just make sure to smart route it. Uh, so that it goes 10 yards and what you'll see is let's say for example um, you know they run a match on me right uh, out of quarters take a look at this out route to circle you see he cuts to the outside and that's an easy easy progression why because the drag is going to take the quarter flat and then you're going to be able to hit that over the top i don't want to diminish though i really don't want to diminish the value of this and oftentimes people like to press out a match um, if they press you out of this match, it's GG's. It'll be a touchdown every time. But you'll see here, he almost always gets this little misstep. Brady can't throw the ball to save his life. But if you're watching closely, he will almost always, and I'll show it in replay after this because I should be able to get it right here, um, but literally just run the play. And if you watch this fade on the left, he almost always will get this animation right there. If he's even, he's leaving. He's going to get over the top. And as you can see, he, and I'll show you this in this replay. He's going to get this step on the guy because it's a misalignment. It's a stock fade. It's a glitchy route. And if you watch here, you're going to see right, right about there, right about the 40, you want to lob this ball out there because he's beat him at this point. And then as you can see, the separation is going to continue over the top. So it's a great play in my personal opinion to beat match. Now, what a lot of people like to do, let's say they know that you have a little bit of a beater like this against match. They're going to check into something like a cover nine style play. And if that's the case here, um, that's essentially what that means is this is going to be, you know, kind of cover two land. Well, you're still going to be able to hit your corner. You're still going to be able to hit your out. You're still, there's a lot of things that you're still going to be able to hit. And another thing that I think is really important to mention here, I have found that this route will occasionally get over the top of a deep half. It doesn't always do it. But if you really watch closely here, if I get some time, just pass like that to the left. You see how he can kind of swerve. And I, I couldn't quite get it right there. Uh, cover nine does a decent job. Of course, you can check down to your drag. You can check down to your curl. All of that stuff is going to be um, available to you. But I really can't stress enough how important this streak is. It absolutely crucifies palms. For the most part, it's going to beat every match coverage in this game. For the most part, it is going to get over the top, as you can see right there. Um, the beauty of this, the way the game works this year, is you can get some really, really good uh, rack animations where it's really not that hard uh, to be able to get the separation. So here's palms one more time. Uh, and I just want to show you. I mean, this is just, it just crucifies cover four palms. It literally crucifies it. And if you want to learn the rest of the defense, it, it beats everything, man. This, this this route combo right here will beat every coverage. It's just something that I really like to go to if they are sitting in palms. If they are sitting in palms and it doesn't matter what other things they're doing, this is going to literally kill it. I mean, there's not even a question. If they run cover four palms on you, this play right here will destroy it. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of the offense, be sure to join my Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're not only going to learn this offense, but you're going to get instant access to every offense and defensive ebook that I have released so far and every ebook that I will release while your subscription is active. So make sure to sign up for that today. All you got to do is go down to the description, click the link that I put down there, and we will see you guys over at the Patreon.